Um, why do you think objectivists fight and denounce each other so much? It's so counterproductive. We're fighting an uphill battle as it is. Because we take ideas seriously and we take ethics seriously. If, if we see somebody behaving immorally that we're standing with, then, then you know, we take morality too seriously to say, well, OK, say they did something horrible that I, I think is terrible, but I'm going to still be their friends because it's an uphill battle. Life is too short not to care. So we care. We care about what people do. And we care when people do bad things, we call them on it. That's justice. It's called justice. And they do too. And some people are right. Some people are wrong. But, you know, and you're not always going to know who is who. But what kind of a movement says we believe in morality? We believe in integrity. We believe in pride. We believe in, in pride, which means there's Limbeck is basically just taking us into 4,000 territory. Uh, thank you, everybody. Wow. Um, that we believe in, 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 in pride, which means we strive towards moral perfection. Yeah, but if, if some of my friends do horrible things, I'm going to ignore them and just go on. I mean, that's absurd. It's because we're moralists. It's because we take morality seriously. It's because we take our own lives seriously. That we take other people's actions and other people's words seriously. I can't just ignore them. If somebody attacks a friend of mine, that means something to me. Because a friend is something, whoa, big value. Being attacked, no good. I'm going to say something. I just don't get it. Why everybody thinks that kumbaya is the way to live. Kumbaya is boring. Kumbaya is unproductive. Kumbaya sends all the wrong messages. We're not kumbaya. I don't like everybody. I don't like everybody in objectivism. Indeed, there's some people in objectivism I don't like a lot. And some people in objectivism who do immoral things. So I should not say anything. I should treat them all as friends. It doesn't matter because they say they're objectivists and we've got a big hill to climb. Screw the hill. I'm not in life to climb a hill. I'm in life to live. Climbing hill is just one of the things I do. It happens to be my career because I like climbing this particular hill. But that means I want to climb the hill with the best frigging people in the world. I want, to, I want to climb this hill with my friends, with people I trust, with people I believe in, with people who, are, who I have, think have complete integrity. And if they don't, then I'm going to take a different path up the hill than they are. And yeah, you guys who are counting on me and these other people climbing the hill so that the path is easier for you, you guys get upset because we're not all kumbaya. But we're not. That's reality. And nobody is. Who exactly is? You, you tell me one intellectual movement in the history of mankind that all were loved each other. Nobody. Because nobody is that what's in, insincere. So the Greeks, you think all the Greek philosophers got along? Hey, we're establishing civilization. We must all be friends. No. They fought. They argued. They condemned each other. You think the Enlightenment? You think the founding fathers? Have you ever read Adams and Jefferson and the, and the conflicts they had? And... And, and what about, what about the, 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 the libertarians, our so-called friends, right? They're at each other's throats constantly, constantly. And what about, you know, you, you know uh, uh, public choice theory, a kind of a libertarian economic theory about how government, government bureaucrats behave. The two guys who founded it after a few years never spoke to each other for the rest of their lives. They were basically in agreement, and they were climbing the same hill, and they were writing the same articles and paper, but they, they couldn't stand each other. So they were supposed to pretend for the cause? Now, how altruistic is that? If I pretended to like people for the cause, if I kept my mouth shut for the cause, if I cooperated with people I didn't like for the cause, if I worked with people I thought didn't have integrity for the cause, I would be a complete and utter sellout. I'd be an altruist. 
So no. You know, when people do bad things, they need to be called on it. When people disagree, they need to disagree. When people don't like each other, they need to not like each other. Like, I mean, this is like telling you, I mean, connected to a previous question, this is like telling you, you know what? You should stay in that mediocre marriage. Because you know what? You got a hill to climb, and you might as well climb it together. I don't want a mediocre marriage. I certainly don't want a lousy marriage. And fighting for cause together in a friendly way is like a marriage in a sense. It's a relationship. And what if, what if the person is somebody I don't like? What if a person is somebody I don't respect? You want me to sacrifice for the cause? No. I'm an egoist. I take my morality seriously. I'm too damn selfish to do that. Now, if Action Jackson is on, that is a rant that needs to be made into a video. I think you will agree. That was good. All right. <laughs> I hope it was true, but it was good. No, it was true, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm yelling at you, Vladimir. Vlad v Valdrin. <laughs> I don't know who I'm yelling at. I'm not yelling at anybody. Um, all right. I'm yelling at, at people who want Kumbaya. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want, to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes but uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.